Roswell Flight Test Crew here at Interdrone 2018 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm talking to Ryan Borders here at the Unique Booth. How are you doing, Ryan? Good. How are you? I'm doing real well. Thank you. So we've got a new drone here that everyone's excited to learn more about. It's the Mantis Q. Why don't you tell me about it? Oh, so we're super excited about it as well. It's our latest release. This is a completely foldable consumer drone. It has 33 minutes flight time, which I think it sets the bar high for everybody else. Now, what have you got in terms of sensors on this thing to help keep it steady? Okay, so outdoors, obviously GPS, right? So keep it rock solid. Indoors, we have optical flow and ultrasonic. Now, so tell me about this camera you got on the front here. It looks like a one-axis gimbal, if I'm right? It is. It is a one-axis gimbal. It is full 4K, but it electronically stabilized video to 1080 dp. And I have to say, I've seen digital stabilization. Those systems can really work well. I think this one works well. You'll see some images that are out there already online. There have been a couple of reviews, and everything looks really good. I'm certainly impressed with it. Well, Ryan, why don't you tell me a little bit about the controller that comes with this aircraft? The controller is included in the package. You can fly the product with just the phone, but you're probably only going to get about 100 meter range out of it. Adding the controller extends the range to about a mile. Now, some of the features on the, the product itself that we think are really unique, voice control. You can tell the product to take off, you can tell it to land, you can tell it to take pictures or video without ever having to take your hands off the control. It also does visual follow me and facial recognitions. I can tag somebody else and it'll follow that person instead. And gesture control. I can wave my hand and have it take a picture just by the gesture that I'm giving it. That's really impressive. A lot of technology in this little guy. Yeah, I think there is a lot compacted in there. It also has waypoints. So if I wanted to, I could plan the mission ahead of time and just hit it and let it fly. Very cool. Now, who do you see as being the target audience for this drone? So I think this is your general consumer who wants a flying camera to take out and take images of what they're doing, something they're experiencing. It's so portable, I can take it with me no matter what I'm doing. If I'm going mountain biking, if I'm going hiking, if I'm riding my motorcycle, I want to capture some images, anything like that, that I want to get a day at the beach with the family, wine tasting with my wife, and I'll get a shot of us you know, out there. It's great for stuff like that. And how, how noisy or quiet is it? So it's actually pretty quiet. Up above, a few feet above your head, you don't hear much of anything. That's great. Well, now the question everybody wants to know when a new drone comes out, which is when is it going to be available and how much is it going to cost? Okay, when it's going to be available, we launched it online just a, a week or two ago. It'll be in the stores within the next three weeks, but it's available online right now. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it on our website, you can get it on a couple of other reseller websites. All right, and what does it cost? It is retailing at $499 with the controller, with the battery, with the multi-port battery charger. That's really a pretty good price. Right. Well, thanks so much, Ryan. That sounds really cool. So, from Interdrone 2018 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks again, Ryan. Oh, thank you.